This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you so much for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Craig McKee. Here's a closer look at some of today's top stories. Police are now looking for the driver who hit two University of Cincinnati students near UC's campus yesterday afternoon. Investigators say 18-year-old Caden Turner died while 18-year-old Namaya Russell suffered minor injuries. Police say the driver of a stolen vehicle crashed into the students and hit a tree before running away. This actually happened on Wednesday. If you saw anything at all, contact CPD Traffic Unit at 513-352-2514. A Hamilton County man is accused of murdering another man and then raping a woman twice on that same day. Sean Carter was already indicted on charges that he stabbed Andre Dockery in Westwood on August 25th. On Thursday, Carter was also indicted for raping a woman that night in Mount Auburn. Carter is in the Hamilton County Jail on a $1 million bond. If convicted on all charges, he faces up to life in prison. We are keeping a close eye on four firefighters injured from battling a fire in Lawrenceburg on Thursday. Still not clear how seriously any of them are hurt, but we do know that crews had to truck water in for that fire on Church Road just to be able to fight those flames. Hi there, Steve Raleigh here with your forecast and uh, I'm always a Bengals fan, so who day? Let's show you what happens here as we uh, head into our day here. We're going to see some sunshine, but we're going to have to watch the cloudiness creeping in tonight because of Friday night football. The remnants of Ian could very well affect us. Mostly sunny and 71 for today, and then near 70 and chances for rain this weekend.